Hello, um, this is Jocelyn again, and a lot of people are actually asking how to use Joomla application. So I'll teach you in this video how to use this medium. What is it? Well, actually, Joomla is the Zoom in China. So it's the Chinese version of Zoom. Now, the kasi ng issue before sa China and America, di ba? So hindi na rin nagagamit ng mga Chinese yung Zoom. Kaya gumawa sila ng sarili nilang version. Well, the good thing is na gamit naman natin yun. Kaya, meron pa rin tayong connection sa ating mga Chinese friends. Well, Chinese students. Well, first, of course, you need to download your Jumu app. We're here. There we go. So, you just need to go to jumu.com and just click on download. Karamihan naman, ginagamit ng Windows 10. So, just click on this blue button. And then, mara download na siya. And then, paano mag-register? Well, just proceed with the, with the registration. And, noong time na nag-register ako, um, email lang ginamit ko. So, nadali lang siya. I'm not sure today kung kailangan mo rin ilagay yung phone number. Basta mabilis lang siya. And then, and then, let's say, na-download mo na siya, at na-install mo na siya, ito yung karanata sa niya. So, let's close this one. So, here we go. Magulo yung desktop ko. <laughs> Makalat. Anyway, so, install mo na siya, and ni-run mo na yung application. Ito na siya. So, with, the, with my name on it, and here is, it's, it's parang parang talaga siyang zoom. So, parehong pareho lang talaga siya. So, um, let me discuss to you the functions of this um, application. So, you got your start with video. So, if you want to um, start a conference, um, you just need to click on this. Now, paano, paano makakapasok sa, um, sa meeting room nyo yung yung friend nyo or yung, yung, let's say yung student nyo, first, you need to consider or you need to know where or what is your meeting ID, which is, makikita mo yun sa settings. Just click on settings, and then yung pinakataas, you will see here, personal meeting ID. So, mine is 136457478. Iba-iba yan. But, um, fix, I mean, fix yan kada personal. Oh, fix yan kada isang Jumu account. Okay, so let's say um, mag start ka na ng um, meeting, or let's say class. So, i-send mo lang to high student, or kung sino mang gusto pumasok dun sa room ninyo, um, after mo i-start yung video. And then, they will just click join, and then they will just input the um, meeting room number here, and then join, they can choose um, either they just want to um, watch you without their audio, and they can, you can also choose kung turn off mo yung video mo or But usually, naka-uncheck naman yung mga yun kasi gusto mong makausag na yung tao na sa loob ng meeting room. So there you go. Just remember, just know your meet, uh, your personal meeting ID and then put it here. Join. Okay? So there you go. Now, let's start with without a video. Well, yung iba kasi ayaw mo pakita ng video. Muna nila pag open ng meeting kasi Kasi nga, di pa sila ready. Pa sila naka-makeup or nakapambahay pa sila. So normally, yung iba ito ang kinikilip. Start without a video. Okay? So, that, yun nga, yung join. Pwede rin naman na kung ikaw yung mag-join sa isang meet, sa isang meeting room, um, pwede ikaw ang maglagay ng meeting ID. Kung saan naman gusto mong mag-join. Okay? But, yun yung pinaka-basic kung paano gamitin or paano mag-start ng um, meeting room gamit yung Zoom. Now, paano yung sa akin? Well, kasi nga, um, as, you, as um, nakita nyo nga sa mga vlogs ko before, I am actually using Zoom as a tool or as a medium for my private classes. Now, how do I conduct my classes using Zoom? Here we go. So, this is how I conduct my classes using Zoom. So first, um, let's say you have a student. So, sabi mo sa kanya na kailangan niya i-download yung Jumo application. Kasi may sakali lagi nagagamit ang iPhone or iPad. Kaya naka-ready lagi yung dalawang image ko dito, which is yung image ng Jumo. At uh, yan. <laughs> Para um i-send ko sa kanila yan pag kailangan nila makita. Sabi mo na sa kanila, um, please download this application. It's called Jumo and then send me yung picture para mas ma-intindihan nila. Araman nila yung gagawin nila dyan kasi um, user-friendly naman si Zoom. And then, install na rin nila. And then, what you need to do is that you need to click on schedule. There you go. 
So after you click on schedule, let's say the name of the student is, uh, let's say, Joseph or let's say, Ding Dong. <laughs> so there we go. Um, magiging regular mo na si Ding Dong. I-assume mo na yun, for sure. So, ang ginagawa ko is click on this. Recur uh, recurring meeting? <laughs> recurring? Whatever, just click on this button. And then, there you go. It means that um, magiging permanent na yan na uh, um, meeting room number. Para hindi ka na magbibigay ng iba-ibang meeting room number kay, kay student mo na pa iba iba ka And mas maganda personalize yung meeting room number nila. Bakit? Kasi pag ginamit mo yung start with video, tapos binigay mo sa kanya tong personal meeting ID mo. It means anytime pwedeng pumasok dun yung ibang student mo. So, magkakagulo, di ba? So, mas maganda na kung gumagawa ka na ng ibang meeting room number nila. So, there we go. Let's say, uh, type the name. Ding Dong is the name of the student. And then, huwag mo nang, pwede mo siya lagyan ng password, actually. Required meeting password. Pero huwag na. Kasi kung siya lang, kung, si, kung isang student lang naman yung pumapasok lagi dun sa meeting room number, huwag mo na lagyan ng password. And just keep it that way. Calendar, outlook, ay, ano na yan. I often just use other calendars here. And then, click on schedule. Okay. Then, exit nyo lang yan. And then, go to meetings. And then, hanapin natin si Ding Dong. Usually, pag bagong gawa, nasa flash siya. There we go. So, this is Ding Dong. <laughs> Let's say your student is Ding Dong. So, what you need to do next is that, um, meeting room, copy the meeting ID. That's 1331755529. Send mo yan kay student. At sabihin mo, this is the meeting ID. At papasok lang sila dyan. So, they will do the same thing like dun sa uh, pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. So, they will go with join. And then, they will click here the meeting room ID na binigay mo sa kanila, which is yung kay Ding Dong. And, mag-init na kayo, dalawa, dun sa meeting room. Let's say, I'll do it. But, wala tayong student for now. So, let's click on start. Mas maganda kung ikaw yung mga una dun sa room. Kasi madalas, um, pag clinic nila yon yung join meeting room, tapos wala ka pa dun, hindi sila na makakapasok. Sabihin nila, dun, sa, para magkakaroon ng error na this room is not available something, blah, 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 or mag error sa, sa end nila. So, there you go. Let's say, let's start na yung class. Yan ito, yung picture niya. Usually, ako, off pa lagi yung camera ko. Sa settings ko yan. And, you can just need to click on start video. There you go. <laughs> you can see me now. Pagka wala pang ibang tao dyan sa meeting room number, sarili mo lang makikita mo. But, kung may pumasok dyan, magiging half na siya. Usually, nasa upper area yung video nung isang pumasok. Ay, isang pinagkaiba pa ni Zoom kay Zoom is that meron siya dito ang advertisement. Kita niya, powered by Zoom. Meron silang signature. Yeah, may watermark dito sa video. It doesn't matter. So, next is, um, paano mag-conduct ng lesson gamit ito, itong mismong class natin. So, I'll teach it. Okay, well, the tools are very easy. Um, well, this is the microphone, I can, video, just turn it on, turn it off, and then manage participants. Dito lalabas yung mga number of participants, let's say, ay pumasok na apat, lalabas dito sa gilid yung names nila. But since we're talking, we're, we're focused on, on conducting your classes, isa lang lalabas dito, which is si Ding Dong. So let's close that one. And then, this is your chat box. So you can key in anything here. If you will do some, um, if you're talking with the Chinese, um, let's say, ako kasi madalas ito ginagawa ko, nakaready yung Google Translator ko, and then, let's say, how are you? Say level 0 yung student mo. Just copy-paste mo dyan. There you go. So, solve na yung problem mo for level 0 students because you can actually type your messages here. So, there you go. Remember the chat box. And then, this button here, record button, um, pag sumong, i-record yung class mo. May mga students ako before, pinaparecord nila yung class, tapos pinapasend nila. Ang problem lang doon is, pag i-send mo sa kanila, imagine, let's say, 25 minutes class, aabot yun ng mga 100 MB, I, I guess. So, ang, ang hassle doon, pag i-send mo pa sa kanila araw-araw. Um, I'm not sure if merong record function sa iPad. Sa phone, wala. Yan, for sure. So, um, if they want to have a recording of the class, suggest yun na lang sa kanila na gumamit sila ng computer at ituro nyo paano gamitin yung record button. That's better. And then here's some more, well, breakout rooms, and uh, yung kailangan yan. And end meeting pag tapos na yung class. Yung. 
And now, how can I share the book? Here we go. So, let's say ito yung book na gagawin natin. Junior Comprehension. Kaya may mga books natin is a PDF copy. So, here we go. So, click on Share button. Now, you have some options here. First, if you click the first one, which is the screen sharing, ishishare niya yung buong desktop mo. Kung anong nakikita mo sa screen mo, ay nakikita din niya. Kaya kung ito ginamit mo at nag-Facebook ka dyan, yari ka dyan. Sabihin niya, what's that, what's that? Or nag-alaro ka, yari ka. Ay, hindi pala maganda yung slow kasi hindi ako makapag-Facebook habang nag-a-classy ako. No, actually I love Zoom, I love Zoom because habang nag-a-classy ako, pwede ka mag-share screen na ang sinishare mo lang is yung book. How? So click on the share button again. And then, as you can see here, we have window share. So, it means, i-click mo lang yung specific window na gusto mong i-share. In which, gusto kong i-share is yung book. ta -da! As you can see, there's a green line. Meron siyang green border. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung nasa loob ng green na border, is yun lang yung nakikita. Or yun lang yung, ang, yun lang ang na-i-share mo. At yun lang din ang nakikita nila. Mini student. So there you go. So habang, yeah, you can scroll down there and then pabasa mo sa kanya, proceed with the class, and you can also do a multitasking here. Let's say nag-research like, ka, or nag, well, huwag naman Facebook lagi. Let's say nag-research like, ka, you know, hindi mo alam itinan ng student, Google Power, da 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 there you go. Okay, now let's go with the tools. So, um, let's say like this, um, Definitely, you're going to look for the pen tool. Just drag your mouse up like this, and then you will see annotate. Click on that, then you will see your basic tool. So, got usually to get a guy with the pencil tool or draw tool because you can actually do this one. You can do like circles usually, and then you can also use text, blah 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 blah. Eraser, so mong mano mano na pag delete, but I usually use clear. Man, kasi madalas nagsusulat din si student. So, there you go. Um, you can choose, you can just explore the tools here, but usually you're going to be guys, your draw and your text and your different shapes. Usually, if you want to a circle, you can answer or the words. Okay, so clear. There you go. So, I guess that's it. Oh, by the way, meron pa. Meron pa siya ko post share. Meaning, ganyan lang. Ay, igalaw ba lang mo yun ng ganyan. Yung huling pinos mo, yun lang yung makikita na image. Unless he resume share with the And by the way, there is a new there is a whiteboard. Kung gusto yung drawing student, there you go. It's a, it's a whiteboard thing, and you can just use your tools or whatever you want to do on this whiteboard. It's um normal, but um question then is, what kind of din ba ni student yung mga tools? Yes, if you explore yung lang sa nila kung nasa ibanda. Iba kasi yung options sa iPad. Pero mabilis lang naman nila mahanap yung techie naman ng mga students natin yan. So, pakanap nyo lang sa kanila kung nasaan ba na yung tools na kita nila yun. Okay. So, I guess that's it for this video tutorial. If you got some questions, just comment. And I will try to answer your questions. So, there we go. This is Joseph Cortez. And subscribe naman kayo. Tugi na. Tugi na. Tugi na. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>